what did national security law do in uh, 2020 when that was implemented? What happened to some of these people? Hong Kong, under the basic law, was given responsibility uh, for enacting national security legislation. This was a remarkable concession by the central authorities because in every other jurisdiction of which I'm aware, National mm. security laws are passed by national parliaments. Right. But the central government had great faith in Hong Kong, uh, and they said to Hong Kong, as indeed they said to the Macau Special Administrative Region, that you can pass national security law on your own time in a way that suits your own your own particular needs. So we're talking about Article 23 legislation. Article 23, here, which local contains, legislation. And, uh, now, when this was brought forward by the government in 2003, uh, local uh, anti-China elements whipped up opposition to it. They were mm. supported by people abroad who tried right. to make the people, local people feel as fearful as possible, and the government withdrew it. And that didn't matter to start with, but in due course, uh, as we saw uh, mm. come 2019, uh, there was a lacuna in the law, and Hong Kong lacked the laws it needed to protect itself from uh, a violent insurrection. So right. once the national security law was passed, the police finally had the tools they needed uh, mm -hmm. in order to combat the, the violence, the rioting, the insurrection, uh, mm. the, the fire bombing and so on, they were able to bring the, the situation under control mm. and Hong Kong was able to get back to normal again.